Hi everyone, this is Sharon here. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about why many people who are learning data science are unable to find a job in data science. I have been reached out by many people asking for guidance to get into data science, to get a job in data science. People from diverse background, people from various streams of IT, people from sales and various non-IT background. They want to get a job in data science, but they are struggling to find a job. After going through the resume of uh, some of them, I clearly understood that almost all of them have completed at least one data science course. Most of them had skills that is required for a data scientist. And many of them have uh, done at least one project in data science. So they have everything that is required in order to get a job in data science, but still they were struggling to find the job. So after talking to few people, what I clearly understood was they were lacking the real exposure to the data science problems. They have the project experience, but most of their project were from the course that they have completed. So they did not have a real exposure to a data science problem. They don't know about various issues that comes up when you work on a real data science problem. So one thing that you need to understand when you are trying to get a job in data science, there are about 5 million people registered on Tidal platform. There are more than 5.5 million people who have enrolled for at least one machine learning course of Andrew NG. So think about the number of platforms out there where there is a data science course. So there are a huge number of people who are trying to learn data science. It is very, very competitive. You need to stand out. There are various jobs in IT, which doesn't need you to have a real experience. You can join as a trainee. You can shadow someone with a uh, uh, better experience, and then you can learn most of the things on the job. But data science is not one of those areas. It is required for you to be as much independent as possible from the day one because the data science teams are very lean in the organization. There isn't enough people to work on the various problems that are available. So you need to have some real exposure to the various data science uh, problems. So how to get a job in data science? So there are two key things in order to get a job in data science. One you need to gain some real experience. And two, you need to stand out. I'm going to exactly tell you how to work on these two areas in a bit. So first one, before getting into those details, the first most important thing is you need to be really strong on the fundamental concepts of data science. So when I say the fundamental concepts, what I mean is you need to have a thorough understanding about the various techniques, methodologies that are available in order to perform the data cleaning as well as data transformation. One typical issue faced by data scientists on their job is the data quality issue. The data that are, that are available out there are not clean or not exactly in a format that is easily consumable by the projects. So it is required for you to work on like cleansing the data. You need to know what are all the various techniques, methodologies that are available in order to clean the data, in order to transform the data. The second one is you need to understand about feature engineering. So when I say feature engineering, you need to be aware of the various popular feature engineering techniques. So for what type of data, what kind of feature engineering techniques can be suitable? And for various uh, business problem, what kind of feature engineering can help in improving the maybe the prediction results? The third one is you need to have a good understanding about the various algorithms. You need to know what kind of algorithm should be used in what kind of scenarios? What are all the different options that are available for uh, like a different kind of problems? So if it is a regression problem, what are all the various algorithm? If it is classification, what are all the various options? If you are working on a recommendation system, how to go ahead with it? So if you are working on an unsupervised learning, like what type of algorithms are available for you, you need to have a complete understanding about various algorithms and you need to know when to use what kind of algorithm. And the fourth one is you need to understand how data science is providing the value to the business. You need to know 
right? Uh, how data science is helping the business in increasing the revenue? How data science is helping the business in reducing the cost? How it helps in improving the customer experience? So you need to have the complete picture about how data science is helping the business because that's the most important thing. You need to understand how you are helping the business, how you are contributing, how you are adding and value to the business. So now let's assume that you have a good knowledge about the fundamental concepts in data science. So the next one is coming to the portfolio projects. One most important thing is make sure that your portfolio project is not based on a popular data set from cattle. The main reason is you would have done every single line of code on your project by yourself. But what people might think is people would be thinking that your project has been lifted from the title notebooks. So we don't want people to come up with any assumption. So there are a large number of data sets that are available. You can download various tweets. You can download various social media data. There are various government agencies which are publishing the data in order to seek help in solving their problems. There are various non-profit organizations like DataKind who are trying to solve various public issues. They do have access to a lot of public data. So you need to choose a data set which is a unit. If you want to stand out in the crowd, you need to come up with an unit portfolio project. You can't go with the most popular project. People like will think that uh, it's not your own project. The next most important thing is your Git repository. I'm not saying that uh, all your hobby projects should be available in your Git repository, in the public Git repository. What I'm saying is uh, there needs to be enough, uh, enough of your work in your Git repository for people to go into your repository and then understand how much knowledge you have about data science. So it is very important for you to make sure that you are uh, structuring your projects in a very presentable format. I will provide the link to my Git repository so where you can see how the Git repository's homepage is designed. You can have a look into it and then try to maybe pick some of those ideas and enhance your Git repository and enhance the presentation of your Git repository. And the final tip is you need to write about your work. The majority of the recruiters for data science are coming from non-data science background. For example, the HR team. They don't have the data science background. They don't understand what type of projects you have, what type of uh, techniques that you have implemented, what is your actual data science understanding. So you need to ensure that you are able to present information or present the content in a format that is easily understandable by the non-data science people. Generally, the HR people who are actually doing the uh, who are actually doing the job of identifying the right candidates. So, how can you do it? You can do it by writing about your work in various blogs, writing about your work in very simple terms that helps uh, in understanding for people without any technical knowledge. By that way, you would be able to get the confidence of uh, these uh, recruiters who are coming from a non-data science background. A couple of points before closing today's video. There is a lot of opportunity in data science. There is a large demand for data science job. But what you need to understand is in order to transition into data science, it takes time. There is no shortcut. Uh, completing an six weeks data science course doesn't promise you a job in data science. You need to work for it. You need to build a portfolio. You need to have a very good resume. So if you have any questions about uh, like building a portfolio website for yourself or building an impactful resume, please refer to the description. I will provide the link to some of my articles where I have explained how to build a portfolio website for yourself for free using the data pages functionality, how to write a highly impactful resume, what are all the various tools available. I will provide the link to those articles and videos in the description, have a look into it. And for people who are trying to transition into data science, do not be choosy about the job opportunities that you are looking for. It might be difficult for you to get a job as a data scientist. What you need to do is there are so much of opportunities for jobs that involves working on the data. You need to get 
a job which involves working with the data. You can uh, apply for a job as a data analyst. There are a large number of job opportunities. You need not have so much of knowledge that is required for a data scientist. You need to have a good knowledge about SQL and good understanding about how to work with the data sets. And there are various other job opportunities like a business analyst where you get to work with the real data sets. The advantage of uh, taking up all these jobs is you get to work on an, a large real data set where you can apply your data science skills and then it will be easy for you from there to transition into a data scientist role. So that is it for today. I hope this video would have been helpful for you. If you like what I'm doing here, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you think this might be helpful for any of your friends, please uh, feel free to share this video. And apart from uh, uh, the data science topics, I also teach data science. I have an 100 day series where I teach the various important concepts of data science in 100 days. Have a look into it and then see if it can be helpful for you. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye until then.